Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the anatomy of the muscular triangle. The muscular triangle is a component of the anterior triangle of the neck. If you go to the anterior, anterior triangle of the neck, we'll get this is the location of the muscular triangle here. We have one muscular triangle on each side of the neck okay this is the muscular triangle how it is bounded and anteriorly we have a median vertical line from the hyoid bone this is the hyoid bone if we draw a median vertical line from the hyoid bone to the sternum to the jugular notch or the suprasternal notch of the sternum there is the that will form the anterior boundary. Posterior superiorly, it is bounded by the superior belly of the omohyoid muscle. This is the superior belly of the omohyoid. And posterior inferiorly, it is bounded by the anterior border of the lower part of the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. So this is the muscular triangle, this part, bounded by the hyoid bone, the superior belly of omohyoid, lower part of the anterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Okay. So if you go there, what are the contents of the muscular triangle? Muscular triangle, triangle contains muscles. And these are the infrahyoid muscles. These muscles are below the hyoid bone. So they are infrahyoid muscles. They are also called strap muscle or ribbon muscle. They look like a ribbon. So they look like the ribbons. So they are ribbon muscles or strap muscles. What are those muscles? We have the sternohyoid from the sternum to the hyoid bone this is the sternohyoid muscle omohyoid from the hyoid with this is the superior belly it forms the boundary and we have the tendon here tendon in between the superior belly and inferior belly inferior belly goes to the superior border of the scapula near the suprascapular notch and the transverse scapular ligament okay so this that this is this is the superior belly of the omohyoid muscle it forms the boundary of the muscular trunk we have the thyrohyoid muscle that is present here from the thyroid oblique line of the thyroid cartilage the hyoid bone so thyrohyoid muscle we have the sternothyroid muscle from the sternum menubrium menubrium sterni okay so upper part posterior aspect going to the oblique line of the thyroid cartilage that is the sternothyroid muscles so this is the sternothyroid muscle the thyrohyoid muscle this is the sternohyoid muscle and this is the omohyoid muscle the sternohyoid and omohyoid, omohyoid and the sternohyoid are superficial muscles here. The thyrohyoid and sternothyroid, they are under cover of these two muscles, so they are located deep to these two muscles. So these are deep muscles. This muscle has been taken out from this side. So in our content, these are the muscle, they form contents, they also form floor. So what is the roof? of the muscular triangle muscular triangle roof is formed by the skin the superficial fascia that contains the latissimus muscle and the and the branches of the transverse cervical null and also the cervical branch of the facial null so and also the investing layer of the cervical fascia that forms the roof this muscles forms the floor of the muscular triangle we have gland what are the gland the thyroid gland here what gland is behind the thyroid gland we have the parathyroid gland 
is the third this is the, what part of the thyroid gland this is the isthmus of the thyroid gland that connects the two lobes of the thyroid gland then we have the thyroid cartilage here the cricoid cartilage here and we have another muscle here the cricothyroid muscle that is innervated by the external laryngeal nerve okay and this is the trachea so that is also a component of the muscular triangle okay we got that contents and we must know that behind the trachea we have also the esophagus so what are the innervation of the muscles of the muscular triangle or what are the nerve supply of the muscles of muscular triangle we have the sternohyoid innervated by ansa cervicalis sternothyroid ansa cervicalis thyrohyoid c1 through hypoglossal nerve omohyoid by ansa cervicalis okay we got that we have the omohyoid superior belly with the superior root of the ansa cervicalis, inferior belly by the ansa cervicalis. We have the muscle, sternocleidomastoid muscle, that forms a boundary of the muscular triangle. It is not supply like the motor innervation by spinal accessory nerve, and the ventral rami of C2, C3 are for proprioception. So, motor by the 11th cranial nerve okay now we'll solve some viva question what are the boundaries of the muscular triangle we already identified that this is the muscular triangle with the hyoid bone we have the homohyoid muscle superior belly we have the lower part of the anterior border of the sternum of the mastoid muscle okay we have a median plane from the hyoid bone going to the sternum to the jugular notch or suprasternal notch okay we got the we got the boundary and what structure forms the floor of the muscular triangle these are the strap muscles we call ribbon muscle or infrahyoid muscle like that of the omohyoid the sternohyoid the thyrohyoid muscle okay thyrohyoid muscle or sternothyroid muscle these are the are the infrahyoid muscles they are attached to the thyroid or the hyoid bone and they move those two structures okay we got that ansa cervicalis is a loop of nerve formed by c1 c2 c3 it is present on the outer outer margin of the of the carotid sheet okay just over the carotid sheet it is present over the carotid sheet okay what is the nerve supply of the sternocleidomastoid muscle we just discussed that what structure forms the roof of the muscular triangle again the skin superficial fascia that contains the platysma muscle the cervical branch of the facial nerve and the transverse cervical nerve that is cutaneous cervical branch of facial nerve is the motor nerve to the platysma muscle that is my muscle is a it is a muscle of facial expression it, it is innervated by the facial nerve the platysma muscle like all other muscles of facial expression and here the, it is innervated by the cervical branch of the facial nerve okay we got that answer and so cervical is location formation and we have gone through that okay and these are my references and that's all about the muscular triangle of the neck if you have any question please feel free to ask me and please share the information with your friends and please support my channel please subscribe me and have a nice day bye now